Here's a quick look at federal education spending in the U.S. I'm Jasmine Tucker, research analyst at the National Priorities Project. Did you know education spending in the U.S. accounts for less than 2% of the federal budget? That's right. Just two pennies for every dollar we spend goes to education programs like Head Start, Title I, and grants to community colleges. And despite consistent polling that shows that Americans just like you think that improving education systems should be a top priority for Congress, spending on education as a share of the budget has held roughly constant for decades. The President has repeatedly said that he would be willing to provide additional funding for early childhood education by investing in pre-kindergarten and Head Start programs. In his 2015 budget, President Obama requested $66 billion in funding over the next 10 years to fund his Preschool for All initiative, which would, which would provide universal pre-kindergarten to every student in the country. Unfortunately, Congress seems unwilling to provide those funds. And there's little help for students who are looking for ways to pay for college. Pell Grants once covered 75% of the average tuition at a four-year college. Today, it covers less than a third as the cost of education continues to rise. And now, Americans owe a staggering $1 trillion in student loan debt. Sequestration took effect in 2013 and makes across-the-board cuts to every government program, including education. And cuts will continue to shrink funding for education in 2015, unless Congress stops them. Interested in learning more? Check out the amount of money your school district receives from your city, state, and the federal government by using NPP's local spending database at nationalpriorities.org.